to study diecasting solution my name is bharat sharma and today we talk about the alloying elements in aluminum diecasting so as we know uh, mechanical property as well as casting characteristic of uh, pure aluminum are improved through the addition of various alloying elements e diecasting alloy has a specific casting characteristic and uh, physical properties depending on the casting being made so you can choose the characteristic of uh, alloy you want based on the component specific use Combining metals allow greater control and flexibility in uh, casting design. Sometimes impurity are also present in metal, so this can uh, negatively affect the final casting. So this today video uh, we are presenting uh, to complete your uh, knowledge about this uh, alloying element. After this video, you are able to uh, explain the purpose of adding each major element. and you also able to explain why minor element and impurity need to be controlled you also can be determine which modifier element to add to achieve a specific result and uh, this information also you can use to explain the effect on the casting properties or appearance when the adding certain element together when uh, making a casting you can also use this information to help determine the effect various element and uh, uh, contaminate in the melt will have on this casting all right <coughs> so major element in this uh, alloying element uh, video uh, so due to the relativity low strength and poor castability the use of pure aluminum is limited as we know largely to the production of rotor casting so electrical conductivity of motor rotors is extremely important which is why uh, despite its poor casting characteristic pure aluminum is used many aluminum alloy are available to the die caster the major one used today are uh, 380 383 and 413 so first element uh, we are taking here silicon Silicon is the principal alloying element used with aluminum. Silicon increases fluidity and provides freedom from hot shortness. It is the single most important element relative to the castability of the aluminum die casting, and it will uh, affect the aluminum alloy in uh, aluminum die casting. Like uh, silicon reduces external shrinkage. Silicon improves pressure tightness. silicon improve dimensional stability uh, and on the other hand binary silicon aluminum alloy process like uh, uh, excellent corrosion resistance high thermal conductivity good electrical conductivity low thermal uh, expensivity slightly uh, poor machining characteristic than aluminum silicon copper and uh, binary aluminum magnesium alloy so silicon has a, a melting point of uh, 2570 degree fahrenheit the solubility of the silicon in aluminum is uh, uh, like 1.65% at 1070 degree fahrenheit all right here we have another element copper so uh, the tensile strength and the hardness uh, increase as the copper content increase if you are increasing copper content in your uh, aluminum alloy so you are increasing indirectly or uh, directly tensile strength and hardness of your casting so shrinkage ductility and corrosion resistance are reduced copper can be effective in reducing internal shrinkage and it improve machining characteristic by increasing the hardness of an alloy matrix binary copper aluminum alloy have been used but suffered from lack of fluidity and uh, hot shortness and have been replaced by silicon aluminum or uh, silicon aluminum copper alloy having 2 to 4% copper and 5 to 9% or more silicon this type of alloy have a superior casting qualities the melting point of a copper in aluminum is 1980 degree fahrenheit which is less than silicon the solubility of the copper in aluminum is uh, like 5.6% at 1018 degree fahrenheit all right so here we have another element nickel nickel is a, in a, in a moderate concentrate tends to help an alloy uh, retain its uh, strength and hardness during uh, extended exposure to elevated temperatures 
the melting point of nickel is 2646 degree fahrenheit which is uh, greater than silicon uh, melting point and as well as copper melting point the solubility of the nickel in aluminum is 5.7% at 1184 degree fahrenheit we have another element magnesium magnesium uh, uh, you can say aluminum magnesium binary alloy uh, for 500 series have a good physical properties and uh, machines the best of all the aluminum die cast alloy their casting quality and their properties at elevated temperature are poor due to the tendency to uh, from oxidizes a specific melting practice must be rigidly controlled magnesium drops be considerably more than normally normal alloys magnesium in the lsi cu3 cu alloy or uh, aluminum copper alloy improve hardness and tensile property with as little as 30% addition of magnesium the casting machinability also improve with as little as uh, 0.3% magnesium and uh, the the melting point the melting point of uh, magnesium is 1200 degree fahrenheit the solubility of the magnesium in aluminum is like 1.85% at 1103 degree fahrenheit all right so we have another alloying element which is iron iron is a natural low level impurity in aluminum and uh, it's alloy due to its association with the element in bauxite or or and the solvent action of aluminum on melting tools and the accessories with uh, which it comes in contact the addition of other element particularly silicon has a tendency to increase the iron content too because iron is an impurity in a most uh, ingredient iron is present in the form of uh, complex constitute in combination with aluminum and silicon and under some condition also in combination with chromium magnesium or copper although considered an impurity in alloy for other casting processes it perform a useful function in die casting alloys a small percentage increase the strength and the hardness of certain alloys and also reduce the tendency for hot shortness the size and the shape of the iron constitute governs the amount of iron that can be uh, tolerated in alloy in general the mechanical properties are impaired as the constitute increase in amount size and shape since the form of the iron constitute is a function of the cooling rate the method of casting plays an important part in determining the iron limit of certain alloys rapid chilling tends to keep the size to a minimum therefore alloy cast metal cast usually permit higher amount of iron to be present that those cast in sand the form of the iron constitute is uh, altered favorable by presence of uh, manganese in die casting iron contained as high as 2% are permissible according to the uh, some aluminum alloy specification but at the level will generally cause a decrease in properties and poor machinability in cold chamber machine high pressure die casting the normal specification of uh, 1.3 maximum still allow more iron than is necessary iron content of 1% is most desirable in fact the range of 0.9 to 1.1 or 1.2% may be uh, considered the optimum iron below 0.8% may cause uh, welding or soldering of the alloy to the surface of the die 518 and 41 uh, 443 is uh, like alloy which has less than 0.8% uh, uh, iron these alloy contains 8% magnesium and 5% silicon uh, respectively have a greater tendency to solder to die if iron is not keep above 1% iron form slug with chromium and uh, magnesium if not controlled this will cause hard spot and poor machinability the melting point of iron is 2300 degree fahrenheit the solubility of iron in aluminum is 2% at 1211 degree fahrenheit all right so we have uh, uh, another uh, alloying element the primary uh, uh, which is called like the zinc the primary effect 
of up to 3% zinc in aluminium die casting alloy is to somewhat uh, lower the cost of secondary metal when zinc exceed 1.5% in 380 die casting alloy the shrinkage and hot shortness increase design consideration for the for this effect should be uh, given when casting different dimensional configuration uh, you know like thick or thin section in heavy walled casting or uh, casting with a large bosses the effect may be uh, uh, notice <coughs> okay so we have a uh, uh, minor impurities also in uh, allowing element so other element in very small amount can cause a major difference in the property characteristic and the casting of the alloy some of these elements are considered impurities and their addition to alloy should be avoided however some minor element are considered to be uh, advantage advantageous uh, when properly controlled like tin lead lead right so uh, these element are usually considered to be impurities tin reduce strength at elevated temperature and increase hot shortness if allowed to exceed 0.1% so tin over 0.1% may be the cause of hot cracking of the casting during ejection it can reduce the corrosion resistance on the other hand lead uh, should also be controlled to uh, 0.1 maximum they too may reduce corrosion resistance and hot strength however they are specifically uh, added to some cast and wrought aluminium alloy in amount 0.5% uh, each to provide free machining characteristic all right so we have uh, another impurity like magnes magnes increase strength and ductility of aluminium alloy in small addition by combining with iron to change the microstructural uh, constituent from uh, need like uh, two plates or one uh, resembling chinese script it must be controlled however because together with chromium it is a main catalyst in the formation of sludge in combination with iron in aluminium die casting alloy Magnes imparts some minor improvements to in strength and corrosion resistance in aluminium and magnesium die casting alloy. And uh, some uh, modifier uh, element also we have. The term modification describes the condition of marked uh, refinement of the silicon crystal structure in the aluminium silicon alloy. The modified structure improves the alloy's uh, mechanical properties. These are the several uh, anti elements that cause silicon to modify in uh, aluminium, like strontium, sodium, uh, and calcium. So, strontium, sodium, and calcium are the modify ele modifier element. The mic microstructure of the aluminium silicon casting alloy contains several phases, including a sil uh, silicon phase in a slow solidification process, such as sand or permanent mold casting. The phase solidifies as a uh, need like, which uh, is harmful to mechanical properties. Here, these modifier element may be added to change the shape of the silicon phase to less detrimental, uh, uh, you can say, fiber uh, structure. The die cast process, however, achieves such fast solidification of metal that the silicon phase does not have a sharp need like structure. So, uh, consequently, the addition of sodium, strontium, or calcium is usually uh, not necessary. However, strontium is being explored today as an addition uh, additive in die cast alloy. With some success to achieve mechanical properties improvement by uh, disappearing microporosity, while modification of die cast alloy has not generally been uh, practiced. Recent development and increasing quality requirement are uh, suggesting that treatment with uh, strontium modifier can have a uh, beneficial effect on uh, improved strength and properties and reduce porosity. Recent, uh, recent studies also uh, suggest that increasing strontium can reduce uh, soldering tendency and thereby uh, lessen to, be to the need for iron in the regard. Another modifier we have phosphorus. Phosphorus is used to refine uh, hyperethetic alloy, those containing silicon in excess of 12.6% uh, phosphorus combined with aluminium to form AIP, which uh, nucleates primary silicon particles. Depending on the casting size and application, phosphorus refinement may or may not be necessary for 390 alloy being die cast. The 
topic should be reviewed with the die caster metal supplier to determine if in board production or die casting production require a phosphorus addition another uh, modifier we have titanium and boron so titanium and boron addition are uh, not usually necessary for die casting aluminum alloy but do give definite uh, benefit for low pressure and permanent mold casting titanium and boron are grain refiner they can improve strength and elongation and tend to reduce shrinkage however the fast solidification process of die casting create an in uh, initially fine grain size itself so titanium may lose its grain refine effect on uh, remelting or during uh, prolonged holding periods titanium and boron combined will retain the grain refine effect for longer holding periods they are usually uh, used in uh, phi ratio to phi ratio to 1 ratio of uh, titanium to boron as in case with all alloying element the percentage percent and combination thereof uh, have a uh, considerable effect in all property mentioned all right so if we summarize uh, this video so there are several major element that can be added to aluminum uh, these are added to uh, impart characteristics to casting that it would not have if only aluminum was used minor element and impurity can already be present or uh, be added to aluminum in excess they will affect the castability of the metal modifier element are sometimes added in small amount to improve the property of the uh, metal Thank you, thank you very much and keep learning uh, till death.